Afternoon, everybody. Um, pleasure to be back here in Manchester. I, I was here last year uh, and did this, and 10 minutes is not a lot of time to try and uh, get some of the, uh, the very uh, interesting and exciting things that we're doing at Dunray across to you. So I'm really only going to talk about two things or focus on two things that are major priorities for us. One is uh, SMEs and how we uh, uh, make it easier for them to engage with us and get involved in our program. And the second one is how we are setting ourselves up uh, and how we want to work with the, the, the supply chain to get us ready to transition into a major decommissioning site. So I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate on those as we go along. Um, I'll canter through the basic stuff for those of you who are maybe not familiar with us. Uh, Dunray is that little blue dot at the very top of the map. It's about as far north as you can go in the mainland before you get your feet wet. Um, we're in the beautiful county of Caithness. Uh, Geographically, are we remote? Yes. Commercially, are we remote? Not at all. Um, uh, we're obviously owned by the NDA, and the site is operated by the Cavendish Dunray Partnership. So that's my company, Cavendish Nuclear, and uh, our partners, uh, CH2M and ACOM. Um, it was the UK's first test reactor site established in the 1950s, and uh, I and my team get to spend about 100 million or so uh, per year uh, with the supply chain. Um, more than some, perhaps not quite as much as others, but luckily Sellafield are on last today, so we're not playing second fiddle to their budget. Um, our program, I had a similar slide last year, and our program hasn't really changed that much. Um, the priority is still to reduce the level of hazard on the site, as it is on, on a number of other sites across the estate. Um, but we're now starting to see our, our balance shift uh, uh, and, and, and decommissioning and our waste strategy coming more and more to the fore. Um, and what we need to do now is make sure that we're ready to uh, execute that when the time is right. Uh, and in order to do that, I mean, quite clearly we can't switch from one type of programme into another type of programme overnight. We need to do some preparatory work. We need to get ourselves ready. We need to get the programme ready. And more, more importantly, we need to get you ready and demonstrate how you can come help us uh, deliver this uh, exciting next phase of Dunray's life. And the first step in that transition uh, really was when we, we you know, we spent a, a bit of time making the, the decision, but we decided that we needed an exemplar. We needed to, to take that first step into larger scale decommissioning fully delivered by the supply chain, but quite clearly we're working within an integrated Dunray environment. Um, and uh, after a lot of analysis, after a lot of internal uh, stakeholder discussion and management, and some external stakeholder uh, engagement as well, we decided we were going to put DMTR out as Dunray's first uh, significant um, I'll say turnkey, ring fence, whatever we want to call it, but essentially fully supply chain delivered uh, um, uh, decommissioning contract. Uh, we're currently in the latter stages of the uh, ITT process. The response from the market has been fantastic. We're really encouraged by it, and we think that stands us in good stead for what we want to do uh, in the, the, the coming two or three years and indeed in the long term. Um, another key thing that features an all our contracts and will feature in all of them as we go forward. It's linked to the SME agenda, it's linked to our socioeconomic agenda, it's, fund it's fundamentally linked to the economic stability and sustainability of our, uh, our, our area agenda, and that is um, uh, the use of socioeconomic criteria, not just in the contract, but as a fundamental part of the selection process. We need to know that what we're giving to you will somehow be given back to the community in one shape or form and help support that long-term sustainability agenda. Um, on SMEs, uh, back in August, we launched Link, Liaise, Innovate, Network and Collaborate with Dunray. Link is about making the process to engage simple. Uh, any of you who have been involved in uh, public contracts, regs, procurements, understand the uh, the hoops that you have to jump through, the process that we have to follow to ensure that uh, we deliver a, a good value for money procurement process. 
for a lot of SMEs, they simply don't have the, the working capital or the time or the business development teams to be able to invest in that sort of process. So I looked at what we could do below the, the, the OGU thresholds and, and it became quite apparent that with, with the help and support of, of our client, the NDA, we could put something in place that would make that process far, far easier. And, and so Link is what it has become. Um, we launched it uh, in response to um, both our priority and government priority to try and spend one pound in three of public funding with the SMEs. We launched it in August. Um, we are now at uh, 100 plus registered companies. Um, we want it to do a number of things for us. We want it to give us innovation because SMEs, as uh, uh, I think actually it was David Peaty said this morning, SMEs tend to be the engine of innovation uh, and uh, agility. Um, we want companies to collaborate. We want them to work together. You might have one half of the answer. Someone else has the other half. Put it together. Come give us a proposition. Um, and to feed into our overall sustainability piece. Now, the process is pretty simple. Our objective is to put two opportunities per quarter uh, into uh, the system. And these are simple opportunities. They're, they're problem statements. This is the problem we have. Do you have a solution? You then submit your solution. Uh, our technical teams evaluate it. And when we say evaluate, they kind of look at it and say, do we think this is going to work? Do we think it's a reasonably valuable proposition? And if the answer to that is yes, we can then engage with you, bring you on site, get the commercials in place really quickly. And if we don't get an answer, it doesn't really matter because we will recycle that problem through the system and we will continue to do that until we do get an answer. Um, our colleagues at Sellafield uh, like the idea. They've launched Link with Sellafield. Um, I and my team are down in Sellafield next week, and we're going to talk about how we can integrate the, uh, the two systems, make the process a little bit easier, a little bit slicker for you. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, well, I, I know I have interest. I won't, I, I won't single them out, but I have interest from another site in terms of them picking up Link. And who knows, you know, a year, 18 months from now, we may even have Link uh, with the NDA. Um, package one went out uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, the really interesting thing about this is um, IKM and AG Engineering, who came along as a result of that, had never worked together, didn't know one another. Um, as a result of coming in the workshop, they have now teamed up to bid against a sort of lowish six-figure tender opportunity that we've put out on the site. That's an unbelievably good outcome. Uh, we're hooking up SMEs, we're putting complementary skills together, and, and, and we're giving them scalability. You know, they're, 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 they're taking on something which individually they simply wouldn't have conceived of prior to getting together through Link. Um, package two is out. It's a, a more traditional uh, decommissioning package. Uh, it involves cutting up nasty bits of pipe work and things. Uh, and, um, uh, we don't, well, there are traditional ways of doing it. I guess the challenge to the market is, are there non-traditional, are there better, are there novel ways to do it? Um, and we expect to, uh, I think, uh, have the proposals in by the middle of November and hopefully award something by December. The last thing in terms of our, our transitional piece, and I can't be here today and not talk about this, is our decommissioning services framework. This is another part of our transition um, and if you look at the numbers on there, look at the dimensions, 400 million, seven year term, the ambition of long term partnerships, we can't jump into this without some fairly significant uh, stakeholder engagement, both internally and externally. So what I'm going to ask you for today is patience. Uh, we've come a long way down this road. You've borne with us since the uh, initial supplier day in Manchester, I think in May. Um, give us a little bit more time, a little bit more of your indulgence, a little bit more of your patience. Uh, we have uh, come quite a long way. Uh, we still have a number of conversations that have to take place. Um, we are on this. We are absolutely on this. Uh, but just bear with us. And finally, finally, I stood here last year uh, and talked about the Dunray Twitter feed. 
um, and asked if you would be uh, so kind as to follow us because at that point in time we had three followers, which is not a good number on Twitter. We are now up to 1,300. If you don't follow us, please do. It's a good opportunity to find out what our plans look like. It's a good opportunity to find out the, the general news across the site. And it's a good opportunity for you to engage with us relatively informally. Um, let's see if we can get the number up to 2,000. Thank you very much.